Welcome back to Cooking Index to Appendix. You're with Chris Stobbs, and today we're cooking Miami Spiced Wings. So before we get started, I just want to um, put something out there. I've been told that I say the word beautiful quite a lot. Uh, turns out I don't have the biggest vocabulary and my list of adjectives for chicken wings is slightly limited. Now, I tend to disagree with that pretty heavily. I think what happens is that I get so excited that my body takes over my brain so I can't actually think of other adjectives. So to that point, I'm actually going to prove everybody wrong and not use the word beautiful anymore for a start with this recipe. So, let's take a look at these beautiful ingredients. <laughs> okay, I'm just kidding. Cool. So let's just have a look at these ingredients. So if you have a look, we've got some really simple ingredients. We've got Cajun spice here, which is my ultimate chicken wing um, ingredient. The first chicken wing recipe that I've invented used, used a lot of Cajun spice and was actually the primary flavor in the dish. We've then got some fresh garlic, some onion powder, and some fresh coriander. I'm also really proud of this because it's straight from the garden, so I think it's going to add a real big freshness to the dish. We've got some melted butter here, and then we have some breadcrumbs. Admittedly, these are not fresh breadcrumbs. I haven't made them myself, but they'll be just as good from the store. Now, another thing that I've done here, and some people, they might find it a bit strange, is I've used some baking paper. I like to use a little bit of paper with a little bit of butter on, and that's because it stops the skin from sticking to the bottom of the pan. Now, for me, chicken skin is pretty much what makes a wing. So therefore, we have to make sure that it stays intact. So, without wasting any more time, we're going to go through what I like to call the assembly line process. We put all the ingredients together, including the garlic. Just mix it all around. You already see those breadcrumbs are getting that flavor from the garlic and oh, that's going to be really, really good. Now, the butters, what the butter is going to do is it's going to create this beautiful sort of rich stickiness around the wings, which is going to allow all these breadcrumbs and flavor to stick to the wings. Sometimes the breadcrumbs will just come off because I pre-dry my wings as I always advise you guys to do. I add a little bit of salt, it likes to dry them out as well. And there we go. If we bring the wings in here. What we're going to do is we're going to dip each wing in the butter. We're then going to dip it in the spice and we're just going to leave it in the tray. So as I do this, let's talk about baking with wings. Now, the oven today, we've put at 190 degrees centigrade. Um, I think that is about 375 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, for those of you that don't work on the metric system. Now, the nice thing about baking is that one, you don't have to watch over the wings. Yeah, you just chuck them in a pan and you pretty much leave them. You don't have to turn them, you don't have to check them while they're deep frying. So there's a massive advantage if you're having a dinner party and you're looking to do chicken wings as a starter, this is a great option. What I would advise though, is trying to check them every 10 minutes just to give them a wee little turn and that'll stop them from sort of overcooking, you can adjust the temperature, and you can make sure that there was enough butter on your baking paper to start with. So we can see this is going to create a beautiful, beautiful crust. That Cajun spice is going to come through like a... a There's children watching, so let's be careful. So, while I do the rest of these beautiful, beautiful wings, you may have noticed that I've said the word beautiful about a hundred times already. Now, I'm doing that as a joke because I don't think it's the way that you necessarily describe a wing that makes it taste a certain way. What you've got to do is you've got to take it. You've got to look at the magnificent ingredients that go into this awesome piece of chicken and then you've got to put it in your mouth and you've really got to take in that flavor and decide for yourself whether the wing is ultimately amazing or not. There we go. We're going to chuck that in the oven and we're going to look at them every 10 minutes for probably the next 30 to 40 minutes. See you then. Welcome back. These bad boys have been cooking for about 40 minutes, so a little bit longer than I first expected. 
I actually left them in a little bit longer because I noticed that the crust wasn't going as hard as I first thought. The chicken was really, really juicy and well cooked through, so I didn't want to leave them too much longer. Um, that being said, the aroma coming off these wings is incredible. Um, I mentioned before, I love Cajun spice, so yeah, I'm pretty much in heaven right now. Haven't even tasted them yet, so I'm expecting really, really big things, and I hope it happens. So let's just check it out. Oh, I mean, so tender, so tender, it's almost ridiculous. So what I'm going to do, is I'm just going to split the bone. There's a little technique that a lot of chicken wing eaters know, that if you take the little bone and twist it, it should pull straight out, especially if the wing is cooked really well. And you can see there, there's no meat on that. That means the wing's cooked perfectly, the chicken's really tender, it's pretty much falling off the bone. Breathless, so excited. Mm. Wow. May not be as crunchy as I wanted it to be, but that flavor and that texture is really, really amazing. You have to try these. And on that note, don't forget, all of these recipes are cooked from a book called Wings Across America, 150 Outrageous Recipes. Buy the book. If you can't find it, get hold of me and I'll help you get it because seriously, you need to get amongst the stuff. I'll see you next time for the next recipe.